uh, you can remember that this uh, discrete uh, random variable we consider let x be a discrete random variable with the probability mass function given by p x x this is equal to 1 by 4 whenever x is 1 and 2 this is equal to 1 by 2 whenever x is 3 this is equal to 0 otherwise. So, you can check that this is a probability mass function because it is always greater than equal to 0 if you take sum of all the values, but it is not a uniform distribution with probabilities are different for 3 it is 1 by 2 for 1 and 2 it is 1 by 4. So, what will be the mean and variance? So, if you find the mean, so expected value mu x, mu x is nothing but expected value of x. So, this is by definition summation of x k p x of x k. So, then this is nothing but x k what are the value it can take 1 into p x of 1 plus 2 into p x of 2 plus 3 into p x of 3. This 3 values it is taking 1, 2 and 3 plus uh, there is no uh, 0 uh, other, other values. So, that is why only 3 values it is taking. So, this is 1 into what is p x of 1 this is 1 by 4 plus 2 into what is p x of 2 this is 1 by 4 plus 3 into uh, the probability that 1 by 2. So, then so then uh, this is nothing but if you to this is 2 this is nothing but 4 1 plus 2 plus uh, 6. So, this is 9 by 4 9 by 4. Now, uh, this is actually for uh, it is, is just notation actually mu 1 dash nothing but. Now, uh, now if you want to find the variance. So, for variance formula it is nothing but sigma square x this is expected value of x minus mu x whole square. So, then you have to find uh, summation of x k minus mu uh, 1. So, mu x is just mu 1 dash the 9 by 4 is whole square you have to make this summation of mu x k minus mu 1 dash whole square into p x of x k you have to do it. So, then this uh, this subtraction you have to do and you have to square it. So, then you will find that uh, then you have to multiply then you have to find the value. So, it can be done you have to you can do it. So, this value you can find out what is the value, but we will use the uh, other formula. What we will do? We will find the second order second order raw moments. So, it is easy to find second order raw moment is nothing but mu 2 dash. So, mu 2 dash is nothing but expected values of x square. So, expected value of x square what is this value x square p x of x k. So, this is the formulas over k what are the values possible values it is taking. So, then this is nothing but uh, x summation of x square into x. So, this is nothing but 1 square into p x of 1 plus 2 square into p x of 2 plus into p x of 2 plus 3 square into p x of 3. So, uh, this is uh, so uh, what is 1 square 1 into p x of 1 is 1 by 4 plus 2 square is 4 into 1 by 4 plus 9 into uh, p x 3 is 1 by 2. So, I am finding the probability here. So, then what we will find? So, then this is nothing but this is 4, this is 4, this is 1 plus 4 plus if I have done any mistake please check it and then you correctly done you, you, you can correctly do it. So, uh, because it is just a, you have to understand what is uh, what uh, how we are doing. So, uh, here basically it will be little more complicated that is why you are using uh, second formula. So, then uh, this is nothing but uh, 18. So, uh, so this is 23 by 4. So, then variance of x will be sigma square x this is nothing but variance of x will be we will use this formula this formula mu 2 dash minus mu 1 dash whole square. So, this is nothing but mu 2 dash minus mu 1 dash whole square. So, then mu 2 dash is nothing but 23 by 4 and then mu 1 dash is uh, mu 1 dash whole square mu 1 dash we just found it mu 1 dash is 9 by 4. So, this is 9 by 4 whole square whole square. 
So, this become nothing but 23 by 4 but minus 81 by uh, 16. So, then just we have to simplify these things, this will be 16 uh, to 92 I think. Uh, yeah, 92 minus 81. So, this is nothing but uh, 11 by 16. So, this variance we, we can easily found, but if you if you, you can try here whether you are getting same value, but it will be little complicated, but you can check it that whether you are getting same value because we just simply this is the actual definition and this then we have simplified this formula. Okay. Now, uh, let us uh, uh, before going to the uh, another example we will go discuss in the continuous random variable cases. So, here uh, we will uh, uh, so uh, let us uh, discuss another uh, discrete random variable example we have already discussed. So, you can remember. So, this is for infinite case how we will do it because uh, we will do more example. So, uh, this is continuous case discrete case here. So, you can remember that this is this example p x of n is nothing but 6 by pi square n square n equal to 1 to dot dot 0 otherwise. So, if you do find this what is the mean and variance let us consider this example let let x be a discrete random variable let x be a discrete random variable with the probability mass function given by p x x is equal to. So, uh, we took it is n because uh, for a natural number we usually denote like this n is 1 by n square or n is equal to 1 to like not 1 by n square. Uh, let us see that there is some constant multi some multiplication is there. So, I think it is pi square by 6 yeah. So, this is 6 by pi square n square this is 6 by 6 by pi square n square this is 6 by pi square n square n equal to 1 to it is 0 otherwise otherwise. Now, what will be the mean and variance? Suppose let us find out the mean. So, mu 1 dash is nothing but expected values of x here. This is nothing but summation of x k p x of x k. It is infinite taking it is. So, that is why summation of uh, n is equal to 1 to infinity x k is nothing but n and p x of x k is nothing but p x of n. So, this is 6 by pi square n square. So, then you can see that so, now if you uh, simplify this, this is 6 by pi square constant, then this is n is equal to 1 to infinity uh, 1 by n. So, this series is a, so whether we can find the mean, because if, if you have to find the mean, then it has to be convergent, but you know that it is a divergent series, this series it is not convergent, this is nothing but this series is divergent. this is divergent. So, it does not exist. So, mean, so whenever mean does not exist actually higher order moments again it will not exist because you will multiply mode n square n cube like that mu 2 dash is will be n square. So, then uh, it will be uh, it will not be convergent. So, that is why uh, it will be divergent. So, mean mean uh, mean does not exist mean of mean mu 1 dash does not exist. Hence, sigma square also the variance also and variance the variance variance of x does not exist. So, this is the one example that you can see that for discrete random variable does not exist. So, for discrete random variable mean does not exist and as, as well as variance does not exist. So, uh, 
Now let us discuss, so here you can see one example that uh, mean and variance does not exist of a discrete random variable. So uh, now we will discuss, uh, so mean finding the mean and variance of a continuous random variable. So continuous random variable we have discussed some of the example, we will take one example. So let us consider one example, so it is discrete. So uh, uniform distribution already uh, we have discussed uniform distribution, uh, yeah mean we have discussed, so variance also you can cons you can find. So, let us do an another example, let us, uh, okay, okay, the, okay, for this case we have, we may have discussed it, yeah, so uniform distribution we did not discuss, let us consider this function. So, let f x is the continuous random variable having the probability density function given by this. So, what will be the mean and variance of this random variable? So, so load, let let uh, let x be a continuous random variable with with the probability density function given by f of x x this is, is equal to 1 by 4 whenever x is greater than minus 2 less than 2 this is equal to 0 otherwise. So, how to find the mean of this random variable because it is a continuous random variable expected value of x mu 1 dash it will be defined by integration minus infinity to plus infinity x f x x dx. Now, this is this density function is non-zero only when this is minus 2 to plus 2 otherwise it is 0. So, this will be minus 2 to plus 2 other uh, interval it will be 0. So, that is why we are not writing again. So, then x into uh, this is density function will be 1 by 4 uh, dx plus 0 and plus 0. So, then this is nothing but 1 by 4 into integration of x, x square by 2, x square by 2 and you, you have to do, uh, we have to find the limit here, write down minus 2 to plus 2. So, this is how it will be, so this uh, 1 by 4 into, this is 2 square minus 2 square 0, so into 0, 1 by 4 into 2 into 0, so this is equal to 0. So, here mean will be 0. So, now how to find the variance? So, here it is uh, then uh, because the variance is nothing but sigma square is nothing but x minus mu 1 dash whole square because mu 1 dash coming out 0 it is nothing but expression of x square only. So, that is why we have to find the second order moment only. So, this is nothing but mu 2 dash. So, if, can we, if we can find the mu 2 dash then we can find the uh, variance. So, what is the mu 2 dash? So, mu 2 dash expression of x square is nothing but uh, integration integration minus infinity to plus infinity especially of x square is x square by definition x square f x x dx. So, now it is non-zero when it is minus 2 to plus 2 that is why I will write minus 2 to plus 2 x square into density function is 1 by 4 dx. So, this is nothing but 1 by 4 into uh, integration of x square is x square by 3 this is x square by 3 x square by 3 minus 2 to plus 2. So, then if you put the limit I am just writing here this is, is equal to, so from here this is, is equal to uh, minus 2. So, this is 1 by 4 into 3 1 by 12 and then it is uh, 2 cube then plus uh, again minus 2 of whole cube it will be minus and minus again plus. So, 2 into 2 cube it will be. So, then uh, 2 cube uh, 2 into 2 cube 2 to the power 4. So, that is why it is uh, 16 by uh, 4 into 3. I think if I have done any mistake you please check it and then make uh, make the correction any calculation mistake 2 cube into yeah it will be 16 uh, to the power 4 by so then it will be 4. So, this will it will be nothing but 4 by 3. So, this variance will be nothing but 4 by 3. So, variance of this random variable will be 4 by 3. Now, I hope you have uh, understood how to find mean and variance for the discrete random variable and continuous random variable and uh, we also gave the one example 
of a uh, discrete random variable where mean and variance does not exist also. Let us continue as consider this continuous random variable, this another density function we discussed here. So, uh, you can see here uh, one example here given this is the density function, later we discussed one discrete function here. Okay, no, this is mean we found. I think this is, yeah, this is the density function we discussed. So, x is a continuous random variable with c by x square. So, c we found 1. So, this density function is nothing but 1 by x square. So, this density function is 1 by x square whenever x between 1 and infinity. Let us find, uh, find the mean and variance of this probability density function continuous random variable. So, uh, so let let x be a continuous random variable, let x be a continuous random variable having, having the probability density function given by f of x is equal to 1 by x square whenever x is greater than 1 less than infinity 0 otherwise 1 by x square whenever x is greater than 1 less than infinity 0 otherwise and uh, then uh, this is the density function we have found also we found a probability between 2 and 3 also then what will be the mean of the random variable so mu 1 dash this is nothing but expected value of x which is uh, by definition this is nothing but minus infinity to 2 plus infinity x f x x d x. So, now because it is non zero 1 to infinity only. So, this is nothing but 1 to infinity x and then density function is 1 by x square d x. So, this is nothing but um, 1 to infinity 1 by x d x. Now, uh, indication uh, by 1 by x is nothing but log x. So, then if you do 1 to infinity x goes to infinity this is actually divergent this is not convergent. So, this is diverges. So, uh, this is in this case also you can see that mean does not exist finitely. So, it is a actually diverges. So, mean so as mean does not exist higher order moments also will not exist here. So, uh, that is why this is uh, continuous random variable this is example of a continuous random variable where mean and variance. So, the mean and variance of this random variable, random variable are not uh, uh, finitely, uh, it is not convergent. So, it uh, not exist. Okay. So, so, what we can write? So, mean and variance of this random variable uh, not do not exist finitely. So, uh, this is what we discussed in the moment. So, next uh, I hope uh, it is clear now how to find the uh, first order moment, second order moment mean and variances for the discrete random variable and the continuous random variables. Uh, so, uh, we have uh, discussed some of the numerical examples also. Now, next we will discuss uh, some of the special distribution functions what we usually use whenever we model or data analysis uh, for the most of the data when we find uh, in the nature we uh, sometimes we discuss uh, we find this, this distribution are very useful. So, Bernoulli distribution, binomial distribution, Poisson distribution, these are the discrete distributions. Some of the continuous distribution like exponential distributions, gamma distribution, normal distributions, we will explicitly we will discuss how these distributions looks like, what will be the mean and variance, their distribution function, their probability mass function in case of discrete random variable, their probability density function in case of continuous random variable, we will learn that. Now, we will discuss some of the special distributions which are very much important most of the times in the future in statistical inference or in the data science, you will see that these distributions are frequently we are using. 
So, we need to learn these distributions um, very well. So, in details they are mean variances and some of the important properties we will learn here. So, one of the distribution it is known as Bernoulli distributions. So, from the beginning you have seen that we discussed one of the special example tossing a coin. So, tossing a coin means it is either head or either tail or tail. So, in that case we most of the times we assume that it is an unbiased coin. So, probability of head is half. So, it may not be half always. We will assume that in general probability of head may be some p, p belongs to 0 to 1 anything. So, in nature also this kind of uh, random phenomena we find in the nature. So, uh, whenever we are giving medicine to a patient, the response may be categorized into two, one is success, one is another is failure. So, in that case also we can model the data using this Bernoulli distribution. So, uh, here you can see that, so tossing a coin once, sample space is head and tail and random variable x, h2 r may be defined as x of head is equal to 1 and x of tail is equal to 0. So, probability mass function is defined by this. So, how it is related x of head is equal to 1 and x of tail equal to 0. So, we will discuss and this is the distribution function. So, now uh, so here we are represented this random phenomena. So, this is the head and this is tail. So, now we are uh, this is a measurable function. So, this is 0, this is 1, this is minus 1, this is 2, minus 2. So, head mapping to 1, x of head is equal to 1 and x of tail is equal to 0, x of tail is equal to 0. So, then uh, we just see what is the probability that x is equal to 1. So, we assume that this is a p, it may not be half always. So, this is in general, this is p. So, p is a parameter here, this is inside 0 and 1. So, probability and probability that it can be tail. So, x is equal to 1 means head occur, x is equal to 0 means tail occur. So, it is 1 minus p. So, this probability mass function, so this is probability mass function we general we write the probability mass function of this random variable. So, the probability mass function So, sometime we denote just PMF of x can be can be represented as represented as P x of x this is equal to P to the power of x 1 minus P to the power of 1 minus x. Whenever x is 0 and 1 this is equal to 0 otherwise. So, uh, how it is related? See that P of, P of x is P x of 1, what is that probability that x is equal to 1? This is the probability mass function. Now, P x of x is equal to 1. So, P x of 1 if you put 1 here, so there is P to the power of 1, 1 minus P to the power 1 minus 1 0. So, this is nothing but P. So, that is the probability of x equal to 1 is equal to P. Now, probability of what is probability of x is equal to 0, probability of x is equal to 0 is nothing but this P x of 0 probability mass function. So, if you put x is equal to 0 here, so this is nothing but P to the power 0 1, 1 minus P to the power of 1 minus 0, this is nothing but 1 minus P. So, then for other any other value there is no non-zero, so it is uh, this range of x is only 0 and 1. So, so now if you draw the probability mass function, so this is very simple. So, it may be useful when we will discuss so more other random variable. So, this is probability mass function p x of x at 0 it is 1 minus p at 1 this is p. So, p may be greater than 1 minus p or less than uh, 1 minus p just here we, jump, we assume this is p is greater than 1 minus p. So, now um, what will be the cumulative distribution function? How we will find the cumulative distribution function? The cumulative distribution function 
distribution function. So, C D F of x is how is given by is given by f of x this is nothing but probability that x less than equal to x. So, how we will find that? So, see that it is taking probability mass function taking 0 and 1 only. So, up to 0. So, if you put x is which is so whenever x is less than 0 greater than minus infinity because it is the minimum value at 0 this random variable it is taking. So, this cumulative distribution function up to p x of any value if you put a p x of minus 1 p x of f x of minus 1 or f x of minus 2 what any value if you take then this value will be 0. Now, whenever x is greater than equal to 0, so then this is nothing but p x 0. So, p x 0 is nothing but 1 minus p and it is up to 1. So, that we have discussed whenever we discussed uh, the con, uh, how you can find the probability distribution function from the probability mass function. So, it is the minimum value whenever x is less than the minimum value, then the cumulative distribution function it will be is equal to 0. Whenever it is between uh, 0 and 1, so this is next then it is p x 0 and then x whenever it is greater than 1 it is the maximum value. So, this is p x 0 plus p, p x 1. So, that is why this is 1 minus p plus p this will be 1. So, this is uh, less than infinity because it is only 2 value. So, this is the cumulative distribution function. So, if you want to uh, graphically represent this cumulative distribution function. So, so like this. So, this is 0 this is 1. Now, uh, f x x suppose if you want to represent it by represent it by uh, graphically. So, then this cumulative distribution function will be 0 up to this then at 0. So, at 0 it is nothing but minus 1 1 minus p. So, this is the value. So, so this is uh, suppose this is 1 minus p this is 1 minus p. So, this is this is continue up to 1. So, then uh, it will be at 1 this will be uh, 1 minus p. So, this is, is equal to this is this is nothing but p. So, this distance nothing but p. So, this is 1. So, if you like this is 1. So, 1 plus so this distance is p. So, that is total uh, distance will be 1. So, p plus 1 minus p is equal to 1. So, this is the it is a step function because it is a discrete random variable. So, it will be a step function this is the cumulative distribution function. Now, we want to find some more uh, suppose we want array order moment and also we want to find the mean and variances. So, what will be the array order moment in general if you want to find? So, then suppose uh, uh, suppose first we find the um, uh, first order moment like uh, mu 1. So, mu 1 will be mu 1 dash this is nothing but expected values of x. So, this is nothing but by definition this is summation of x k p x of x k. So, it is taking only 2 value 0 and 1. So, this is nothing but 0 into p x of 0 and plus uh, 1 into p x of 1. So, then this is nothing but 0 plus 1 into p x of 1 is what is p x of 1? It is nothing but probability that x is equal to 1. So, p x equal to 1 this is the probability mass function p x of 1 is nothing but p. So, that is why this is nothing but this is nothing but p. Okay. Now, uh, what will be the second order uh, raw moments? So, so in, uh, in general you can here it is easy to find the array order raw moment. So, for r is, is equal to any value. So, then mu r dash this is nothing but expected values of x to the power r. So, what will be the value? This will be nothing but summation of by definition x, x k to the power r p x of x k. So, then this is nothing but so, uh, it is what are the values it is taking? It is only 0 and 1, this is a 0 to the power r into p x of 0 plus uh, 0 to the power uh, another value it is taking 1. So, this is 1 to the power r into p x of 1. So, uh, then uh, then what is the uh, this is nothing but 0 plus this is will be uh, this is nothing but 1 into p x of this is nothing but 1 again it is 1. So, this is uh, p x of 1 is p just uh, now we discussed. So, this is nothing but is equal to p. So, 
uh, for any r 1 to n. So, not only that for r is equal to 1, for any r this value is p. So, hence whenever r is equal to 2 also, so mu 2 dash this is nothing but is equal to p. So, why you are finding this? It is important because we know suppose we want to find the variance of x of this random variable, variance of x, this is nothing but so basically uh, this is expected values of so x minus mu 1 dash whole square, but we know the simplified formula it is nothing but mu 2 dash minus mu 1 dash whole square. So, mu 2 dash is nothing but p, this is nothing but p square, which is so hence this is equal to p into 1 minus p. So, this is the variance of this random variable. So, uh, here uh, we just discussed the Bernoulli random variable, it is very simple for finding the mean and variances also, not only that array order, order of moment also you can compute. So, uh, this is one of the important distribution we discussed here, they are probability mass function how it looks like and what is the probability distribution function also, cumulative distribution function also we have discussed.